Alright, you guys, so, I just got my son off to school, okay? I'm coming on, no makeup, no nothing, okay? This is the crazy part. Okay, so we got a cat, okay? I am not an animal lover, okay? Um, the way I think, and this is just my opinion, okay? I'm not talking about you or what you like or what you think or what you do in your home. I'm talking about me, okay? I always think that people that have pets don't have that clean of a home. The reason why I say that is because, for one, now not indoor cats, but just animals like dogs and stuff. You walk your dog, he do goes and does his business, all outside, probably walking around in the same business that other animals and stuff have done. Or even if it's just mud or dirt. And then he, you come and let him back in the house, he walk and track and that's same dirt that's on his paws all around the house he all up on your bed with those same paws that's nasty that's just nasty they can't wipe themselves after they poop and stuff their hands is all in a little box for cats and all that kind of stuff and they walking all around and you holding them up on your chest and they rubbing their paws on your face and stuff from the litter box don't forget okay so it's a lot of things and a lot of issues and a lot of quirks that I have, okay? I'm just not a huge animal lover, okay? Not in my home. They cute when I look at them outside, okay? Oh, uh, look at that little poodle. It's pretty. Okay, bye-bye. That kind of deal for me, okay? It's real cute outside, but not in this house, okay? I don't even allow shoes in my house, okay? So, yeah, so why would I be willingly and gung-ho about an animal that's walking around outside and then coming back in my house and I won't even let my own son wear shoes in the house okay you not above my son okay now I'm referring to just dogs and stuff I'm just telling you how my mind thinks okay so we have an indoor cat okay um the cat uh was a neighbor of mine had uh a bunch of them and Pootie and Daddy is a huge uh, animal lover, okay? Um, and I think that's sweet, okay? Somebody got to love him because I sure don't. But anyway, so he's a huge animal lover, okay? And he has that way of thinking that, you know, a little boy should always have a little pet in their life, you know, at some point in time. So... I've never raised a little boy until now. So, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm following Daddy's footsteps a little bit because that's his job, you know, to, uh, you know, to help with the, you know, the issues and the, the thought process and all that about raising a, a male, okay, a man or raising a male child. So, eventually I gave in. Okay, so we've had this cat for about, five months maybe six now the thing I do is because since I'm not a huge animal lover I buy outfits and stuff for her and make her look cute like her her bowl for her water and her food is all blinged out um then you know um I buy her all kinds of outfits and little tutus and stuff like that so she walks around that kind of stuff all day every day that's my little contribution um, besides making sure she has plenty of food and all of that, and we buy the best food. She's never been outside, and, um, yeah. But she about to be homeless, and I mean that. She about to be homeless today, okay? If not today, this weekend. She about to be homeless, okay? Because why does she just now... Lord, give me the strength. I'm about to have to pop a Xanax for real because I'm about to have an anxiety and a panic attack all in one. She gonna get on my comforter set. Now, I told you guys, my comforter set looks like a wedding dress. It's that fly. It's black on black, monochromatic, but 
is like sequenced out and blinged out and all that kind of stuff. I think she know I don't like her and I don't think she she keen on me either. Because she looked at me. I, I could have swore she looked at me. Okay. Now maybe I'm just imagining that part. But I think she looked at me. She looked at me. Took a squat at the end of my bed and pissed on my comforter and this comforter it can't even be machine washed because it has so much bling and sequence you have to dry clean it she looked at me I think and took a squat and I looked at her and I literally seen the pee coming out and landed on my comforter. I'm dead serious, y'all. I did this video before I even told Daddy. Daddy don't even know yet. Daddy doing something downstairs right now. I'm telling y'all before I even tell Daddy. She had lost her mind. Now, I think she did it because she know I don't like her. So she basically was like, deal with this. I'm going to deal with it, alright? Because I'm going to deal with you being homeless. So, this was just a rant. And, yeah, she about to be homeless. So, Pooty, you know, we're going to have to sit him down, give him a little talk. You know, and explain to him that, you know, she had to leave. But she's definitely leaving. That was the last straw for me. So you could take, I'm going to pack up all your little tutus, your blamed out bowl set and everything, and the person that we give you to, they, you know, they can have all the expensive food and all the, the nice litter, the clump litter that we um, provided. I'm going to give all that to them. No cost free of charge. But you're getting up out of here. Yes, indeed, you're getting up out of here. Because I was being nice by having you here in the first place and then you gonna look at me I think you gonna look at me and take a squat and basically look at me and piss oh no mm -mm. not today not tomorrow and not no any day mm -mm. so yeah so farewell my friend you're about to be homeless that is all.